Jesus' name. Up and out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Right now, every hiding spirit, we expose you. We expose you in Jesus' name. We expose you in Jesus' name. Leave this body. I do believe that there is demonic activity and I do believe there is a way to deliver people from demonic activity. However, mass deliverance of demon oppressed, possessed or demonized people, a mass deliverance of that sort, that is unbiblical. Because there are many people out there who have all sorts of issues as well as those who want to play into the desire or need to see a sign, You'll always have a room full or even a, an auditorium full of people who want to see deliverance, who want to see something special or different. Even some of these people who we know for a fact, they're not vetted. We don't know if this person has a demon or not, if they're acting. And we have seen times where people have been discovered using paid actors. We've seen that with Daniel Adams. We've seen that with Catherine Crick and others. However, we don't have to worry about the specific actors that show up to these mass deliverances. All we have to know is this, mass deliverances are not biblical. Why do I say so? Well, think about this. How many times do you see in the Bible, anywhere, where multiple demon-possessed people had demons cast out of them at one time? In other words, a mass deliverance. More than two or three or four or 10 or 20, we never see a gathering of people demonically possessed, then having an apostle or Jesus casting those demons out of them. Now, we've seen a person who had multiple demons in them. We saw that, but we've never seen more than one person at a time having a demon cast out. So why am I saying this? Well, if you're going to say that we ought to do exactly what Jesus did and we ought to follow the example of the Bible and the apostles, since we want to be apostolic for some of you, well, then why not follow in the footsteps and the example of the apostles? There are no recorded examples in the Bible of Jesus or the apostles delivering more than one person from a demon. And it just makes sense because how then, if a person is possessed, controlled by, oppressed, demonized, whatever the terminology that you want to use, how does someone who is severely demonized in that fashion sit around and watch other demons being cast out? We know everybody wants prayer, guys. There's 5,000 people. We're going to pray. If you're out there, you can get it right now. We call out every unclean spirit hiding. We command you to come out from hiding now. Now, Jesus. Demons are not going to sign up for something that they saw on YouTube or on the internet, on Google someplace, decide to take their time, drive or fly to a conference, to a church, listen to praise and worship music, listen to a Bible study, listen to a teaching, and then at the very end on cue, decide to manifest and come out at the command of that person. That's not how we even see demons acting in the Bible. And so one other way that you can tell that this, this particular movement that we have, this demon, this, this deliverance ministry, as they call it, that we know it's not biblical because we don't have an example of it in the Bible. And the very definition of unbiblical just simply means it's not in the Bible. It is not biblical. And so there again is another reason why you might want to think twice about frequenting or listening to these particular deliverance ministries.